I suppose it's been long enough. If you talk about Spider-Man, you gotta include Uncle Abby. It feels like it's been forever since we've talked about Abby Arad. You guys remember Abby Arad, the man responsible for, well, twice the demise of Spider-Man in live action. I know revisionist history and film Twitter will like to tell you that Sony has always made the greatest decisions of all time, despite the fact that revisionist history now claims Spider-Man 3 is a masterpiece, where everybody hated it, and that Tasm 2 is a masterpiece, where everybody hated it. Thank Avi Arad for all those problems, because he's the one that constantly forced multiple editions in the last minute, rushed productions, cheaper budgets, Oh, and of course, shoehorning everything into wherever it doesn't belong. That was him. He was the guy that made all those calls. So it wasn't surprising when we heard that he's still involved with Spider-Man in the MCU. And some of the restrictions that the MCU has are actually his fault. So what we recently learned on the internet, which has since been confirmed by uh, quite a few people reporting on it, and I've reached out to some people that talked to me about Spider-Man and they've said most of what's out there is just about correct. There's a little bit that's uh, somewhat misinformed of how things fall into place, but most of it's pretty uh, on point and it gets to the point without any additional uh, you know, stuff on the sides, like extra details, which I'm not even going to fully cover those in here because I'm not sure I'm allowed to from what I've been told. But anyways, what's been reported online is that when it came to Spider-Man Homecoming, and we actually have concept art of this, which I'll toss up on the screen right now. So you know how everybody likes to call him Iron Boy Jr. because he can't do anything without the help of Iron Man? Well, this scene you're seeing right here of War Machine and Vision and Iron Man all, uh, you know, on the sinking ship. Well, as it turns out, Spider-Man was actually supposed to be the one that saves the day here. Also, Captain America was meant to actually have a cameo in this film that was more than the VHS tapes. We were supposed to have Spider-Man be more heroic, but Uncle Abby was the one that said, no, he needs to look like a fool and be the one that causes the problems because he's a child. Now, hear me out. I will agree with Abby on that. I don't think Spider-Man should have just showed up and he saves the day, like, fully. But having him be an important part in an event like that where the Avengers are saving people and then Spider-Man swings in and helps them and he has his own footing and equal ground, that would have fit. So Avi Arad coming in there saying no and cutting out the Captain America cameo and putting more of this being the fault of Spider-Man and Iron Man saving the day was his call to make and that's what we learned and that's what other people have confirmed to me as well there's a couple more things in here that weren't reported that i can't mention but let me just say that once i heard them i actually wanted to make a video that goes all the way back to my old aviarad days where i kind of just let loose but i'm not gonna because something could have happened that would have been far better and that people would be talking about to this day going, that is amazing, but can't talk about that just yet. Maybe someday it'll hit the internet. Now, what I can say, and that's something that's been stated before and uh, people suspected this and that was also reported, the whole idea of having multiple Avengers there was because of Avengers Tower. Obviously, it plays a role in the film and they're, uh, you know, emptying and moving pieces. That's why these specific Avengers would have shown up, like Vision, like War Machine, and they would have had somewhat of a arc, if you will, before the direction was changed, and it was changed during the actual writing process as they were starting to shoot the film. So Abby came in there, surprise, surprise, at the 11th hour to cut pieces out. And clowns be out here telling you he made the correct calls with Sony when he canceled Spider-Man 4. Okay. 